uh, Omulo, mm. a member of Kenya Kwanzaa, have, uh, have done the same thing. Make a political move without the blessing of uh, the party leadership. That is, in this case, President William Ruto. Would he have tolerated it? Uh, which move? Because uh, I don't see anything <laughs> that Kenya Kwanzaa will get from the opposition. But you see, we should not, uh, just like what uh, advice has said, cage politicians. No, I'm asking if the shoe, that, uh, perhaps you haven't understood my question, if the shoe was on the other foot, mm -hmm. if members of Kenya Kwanzaa met with Raila Odinga, let's say Raila Odinga was a president that William Ruto did not recognize. If you say so, you Would see... Would William Ruto have tolerated the quote in subordination? I can tell you for a fact that uh, William Ruto has changed the narrative and the style of politics in this country. To the extent that uh, we've been discussing issues and uh, their agenda as opposed to discussing uh, the politics of dictatorship. And that's why you can see, even in UDA or Kenya Kwanzaa, leaders have the, the freedom uh, of expression and, they can, and freedom of movement. Because the agenda of this country is about development. If at all leaders are lobbying for development, that should be the agenda. Agenda should be about the people. It should not be about the leaders. Actually, we should change our politics. Uh, our politics should not re revolve around personality. Even though, even if we needed political parties, but it should not be used to blackmail and even push leaders or even uh, coerce them to the extent that they are not even as supposed to associate or even express their views because they have to get a permission from our other leaders. This is a practice that has been done or that is or, uh, been, uh, it is a practice in ODM. ODM has been uh, a party whereby if you have that ticket or you're given that ticket, first of all, to get that ticket, you need uh, either to lobby perfectly or you are in good books with the, the owner of the party. If you're not, uh, because I've never seen democracy in ODM when it comes to nomination. So that's the, the way it starts. So let us uh, create an environment for these leaders to operate smoothly because then how will we enhance uh, freedom of expression or freedom of association if we are intimidating leaders from uh, you know associating with other leaders so whatever uh, Nyongo is doing and even Orengo the other day they were meeting these leaders uh, the cabinet secretary they were meeting uh, the president at state house so it's just hypocrisy uh, that they feel that they are holier than thou that the other leaders uh, members of parliament should not meet the president but them they are supposed to meet the president because they are governors so uh, to that extent I believe that um, the main agenda of Kenya Kwanzaa or the focus uh, of the opposition should be to oversight the government. The government should put agenda of development to the people and that should be the focus. We should not deviate from uh, you know, development agenda. Okay. In fact, that is what I can say. I know Orengo received uh, Ruto in, when he was in Nyanza, uh, but d has he gone to State House? I don't believe he has. Uh, Orengo did. Actually, Nyongo, uh -huh. I've seen pictures in that regard. They in met, State House? Yeah, they met the president okay, and even the cabinet one. secretaries uh, following up on the development agenda that uh, Ruto promised in Nyanza. In fact, it's not a crime. In they State House Nairobi? Did they I have miss that defected. one? Kidi? <laughs> Did I miss that meeting? You might have, but then uh, it, it, we must take notice of the fact that Omulo was a very senior and devoted member of the ODM before he apparently saw the light. <laughs> and uh, if an alligator comes out of the water <laughs> and tells you that the crocodile is sick, I don't think you'd want to doubt him. Thank you. <laughs>